Chiefs. Shining stars, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day, night, whatever it may be. Know that you're awesome, amazing, and I'm so glad you clicked on this video today. If you're not a part of the beautiful Shining Star family, I would love for you to be, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell for more of this. So recently, I saw Black Panther, and you guys, this movie was awesome. I, uh, I loved it so much that I really wanted to do an inspired look from the movie. I absolutely was digging his suit that's powered by vibranium. It like glows neon, like ultraviolet, yes. So I'm gonna do the look based on that. Okoye is by far my favorite character. She is dope. She's like the general of the female warriors, the armed forces that protect the throne. I seriously want to be her when I grow up. I mean, whoa. She's fierce, strong, beautiful, yet feminine, and she kicks booty. The moment that I saw her get on top of the car with that beautiful red gown she was wearing it, flopping in the wind, all ready to take the bad guy down, I was just like, so Hot Topic sent me this really dope Black Panther tee that I absolutely love. And so when I got this in the mail, I already had wanted to do the look. So I was like, let's do this. So if you haven't already watched the movie, after you're done watching this tutorial, you can mosey on down to the theater and watch it because it's awesome. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. Sorry, I've been watching too much Kev on stage. There will be no challenge today. There will be no challenge. I just wanna go to Wakanda, like right now, guys. You wanna go? Let's go. All right, so I already prepped and primed and foundation and contoured my face. Now I'm gonna move right into the look, starting off with this. Mm -hmm. This is the most beautiful, magical potion in a bottle right here. Uh, this is Cover FX Glitter Drops, and you could use this for whatevs. I'm gonna use it for some highlighter um, into the inner corner of my eye and uh, to height this part right here. But yes, this is beautiful. See how much sparkle? Just taking a little bit. I'm also gonna leave all the products in the description box below if you guys wanna get yours. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna take my highlighter palette from Huda Beauty. And this was the winter highlighter palette. And I'm gonna be taking the Arctic Glow along with the Northern Light. So Alaska right there. So these two. And I'm gonna just put it on top of what we just did. So just in that inner corner. You can see the kind of like blue that's in there and then the gold, I love it. Then over that, I'm gonna take my Black Bean Jumble, Jumble, Jumble Pencil from NYX, if I could get it the cap off. Oh, oh my gosh, my hands are slippery. Oh my gosh. Oh, got it. And then I'm gonna take this flat brush and I'm just gonna apply it over the lid. Also kind of going to apply this like in a cat-eyed shape a little bit because we want to go for that panther. And throughout the tutorial, things are gonna get a little bit messy, but don't worry about it because we're gonna go back and touch it up. Don't get your chow chow into the bunch. go in with a more pointier brush to kind of detail it. Now I'm going to take my Kristen Leanne palette from Urban Decay and I'm going to take uh, the shadow, the black shadow 13th floor and then I'm going to go over what we just did. And then I'm going to go in 
in with a fluffier brush and kind of just blend it a little kind of like blending a little bit smoking it out taking my Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette, which I love this palette, you guys. Um, the shadow granite, this black like sparkly shadow, I'm gonna go over that as well. If you can't tell already, I love sparkles, so the more the merrier. So I'm just gonna go over everything we just did. And now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and take this underneath the bottom lash line. take this really pointy brush this isn't even a makeup brush this is a, a Crayola brush I got from Michaels but I like how thin it is because this part we're gonna be taking our time very carefully to draw this in I actually like the look just how it is but you guys that ultraviolet glow that Black Panther's uh, suit had it just got me like mm. so I'm gonna try this is the first time I've tried this that neon um, kind of a glow to the makeup that neon liner and so we're gonna see how this turns out. So I'm gonna be very, taking this very slowly. So I went ahead and like kind of traced out that wing shape, that cat eye shape that I had with the white liner. And now I'm gonna go back in with the black one and kind of like, um, put it into the areas where I, I messed up or I want it to be a little bit more cleaner. And anytime you do a mistake, you could always trust, trust the Q-tips to clean it up. All right, now I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Electric Palette which you guys, I kind of dropped this, so I can't like hold it up to show you, but I'm taking the vibrant purple and that vibrant pink, and I'm gonna pack it on on top of um, the jumbo pencil and white, um, just to make that kind of neon glow going on. Right, you guys now we're gonna be taking Urban Decay's razor sharp liquid liner and I kind of cracked this along with another one it kind of got all nasty but we're gonna ignore that and um, this part you're gonna really want to do nice and slow and careful we're just going to make a line in uh, the violety pink purple that we just had we're just gonna kind of uh, trace out a line right in the middle Now, while that's still kind of wet, I'm gonna go over again with that shadow and pack it in one more time. Okay guys, so there was a mishap with the liquid liner. And I've seen this because I've watched makeup tutorials on like neon stuff before, and usually they say it cracks, and I was hoping the Urban Decay one wouldn't, but it did. So I had to wipe it off around where the edges were and start over with that. So it ended up coming out a little bit longer and different than what I expected, but I still like it. I did the same steps, but without the liquid liner, I just used the jumbo pencil for the whole thing. Um, but yeah, yes. hopefully that's not too confusing. I'm sorry, guys. And I also added the 24 seven glide on liner in electric for the waterline. So now I'm gonna go in with IT Cosmetic Superhero Liner, and this is a liquid liner. And I'm gonna go ahead and line um, my eyes a bit on the bottom and top. Next, I'm gonna curl my lashes for some lift. And 
go in with my Bad Girl Mascara from Benefit. You guys, I got this in the mail last month and I am very in love with this mascara. I'm gonna start at the bottom of the lash line and just wiggle my way upward. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Generously applied. Time for falsies. I'm gonna go ahead and apply these Salon Perfect Lashes. Um, taking some lash glue, applying it to the lashes. And I'm gonna allow this to get kind of tacky. You don't want to put it right on after you put on the glue, otherwise it'll pop back up and create a mess. All right, now I'm gonna place as close to the lash line as possible. And then take the handy dandy tweezers and adjust. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And what bam Bat those beautiful eyes. For my cheeks, I'm gonna be using my Pro Fusion Blush Palette, and I'm gonna be mixing uh, Juicy and Great together. And finally, for the lips, I'm gonna be using my Makeup Forever Lip Liner, if I can find it. Um, in N21. And then I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty Lip Strobe in Angelic. Black Panther inspired look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I highly recommend you go see the movie if you haven't already, it is amazing. Let me know in the comment section below what tutorials you wanna see next. And remember, you are beautiful, baby, so shine like a star. Mwah.